pictures right now. Do this. What are we gonna say? You recording? What's up? Hola, como estas, amigo? On today's episode, we went shopping. We got ourselves a new sled that's gonna be pulled by the 2019 Can Am Outlander. We went to Canadian Tire or Ukrainian Tire, however you want to say it. We got ourselves a Pelican Trek 75 sled, a tow hitch for the sled. From Pelican and a sled cover from Pelican. So we're gonna put everything together, move uh, our stuff from the old sled, that sled with all the stuff that's in there right now, we're gonna move it over. We're gonna put our auger in there, we're gonna put our tent, we're gonna put our propane tank in there and see if everything's gonna fit. And then hopefully we're gonna go uh, ice fishing. Alright guys, All right, first, thing, first thing that we're going to be doing an unboxing with is the tow hitch. I need to get the tow hitch out, so to install it on the sled. All right, so inside the kit, we got the two mounts, two bars. We got the hitch unit here with springs for suspension, like kickback. We got the little bag here with a couple pins, three bolts inside, washer, a couple nuts in there. Got the instructions of how to put it together. So, so all the, all the, Parts that's included in the box that you get this is how it should look like when you're completed with the sled the tow mount and how to put it together very simple a couple bolts together three bolts and that's it all right so we're gonna start doing that putting everything together As marked on the mount, has an arrow saying this side up. So put the both pieces together like this with one hand. Take your pivot arm, put it in the middle. Put the first bolt in to we'll hold everything together. Like this, so you get something like that, a sandwich. Sandwich them together. Take your thread lock. So now both nuts are in for the both bolts. These nuts and bolts are 10 millimeter. So I got a ratchet strut and a wrench. So I'm just gonna put a wrench to it. So don't tighten it all the way, just a little bit. Take your third bolt. Put it here at the rear as a thick washer too. So put the washer in the middle, and sandwich it all together, and wiggle your bolt through like that. Some thread lock. Washer. And you're not. You don't have to use thread lock, but I always do. Now you could tighten everything up. <clears throat> All right, this is the finished product of the mount. The pivot arm has to be in a V pattern like this. Flat side up. That's what the instructions say. 
so every time you hit a bump or uh, you stop suddenly the springs are gonna use uh, act like a suspension and the V is gonna slide in between the rail rails here now with the mount completed like this take it put it inside the sled take your pins they get with the kit Okay, take your pin, wiggle it in inside to match the holes. The, the holes are very tight, so you gotta just wiggle it around. Use a hammer at it and it'll work for you. That's it, pins are in. On both sides now. So this is a complete product now. Here's your tow hitch. Connects to, this will connect to your ATV, like that. And you can pull it across the snow. The sled comes with pre-installed runners. So you could drive it on like pavement for, for a short while and stuff and it lifts the sled off of the snow and ice a little bit like half inch so less friction that's it now we're gonna move all of our stuff over to the new sled open our cover. Let's see if it's going to cover everything. If you guys are on the fence on the cover, you should buy the cover. It's worth it to have. So it holds everything down, push, pushes everything down, and it covers uh, all your equipment from snow, from your snowmobile or your uh, side by side or ATV when you're pulling it behind. Bro, it's like over 100 pounds now for all this stuff. That's it. So now we're gonna go get the ATV, get that ready, and then we're gonna go on the ice. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys subscribe, like, comment to our channel. See you guys in the next one. All right, guys. Next day. I went to Canadian Tire and got myself some Mother's CMX. This product is used for cars. You can put it on your car to protect it from rain, salt, and debris like that. It's not cheap at $30, but it helps a lot to spray this. Take this and spray it on the back, on the bottom of your sled. So you could do two coats of it. You have to wait 24 hours. After that, it's good to go. It lasts for a long time. And it's a little pro tip for the snow and ice not to stick to your sled. That's it guys, I'm gonna wipe this down and I'm gonna go onto the ice.